Okay, I'm going to show you. This is the, the uh, when you put them at sbmcrafters.com, it comes up like that. So, and here is this over here. But to get to the advanced calculator, uh, you just look over, let me see where it is. In the top here, click on this, advanced soap calculator and recipe resizer. And that will bring you to this page that shows you the options for liquid, uh, solid soap, liquid, or cream. So we're going to make liquid soap and we're going to uh, tell the recipe, if you don't put anything in, in here, in the, this, it'll automatically put it, use uh, the lye amount will be 100% hyd potassium hydroxide, but we want to do 30% sodium hydroxide, and we're going to do potassium, 70% potassium hydroxide. Now, I don't remember what I said in the recipe. Um, I'm not sure it was 30 to 70, but that we'll just do it for this. And I'm just showing you how to use this. I'm not suggesting to use this recipe. I'm just showing you how to use it. You can say, I don't know, we'll, we'll say that we're going to add two ounces of uh, glycerin. And now zero, the super fatting, it, for liquid soap, it'll automatically default to 0%, but I'm just going to put 0% anyway. And then here we start adding the oils. So let's say the first oil we're going to add is, let's say your avocado oil. And we're going to make a 16 ounce batch. That's one pound, which is a little less than half a kilo. So we're going to say um, five ounces of, of avocado oil. The next oil we'll say, well, it will, canola oil. We'll just say canola oil. And we'll say three ounces of canola oil. And then we'll say olive oil. Let me see, that's eight so far. A olive oil, we'll say, um, we'll say five ounces of olive oil. And then the next oil, okay, 13, three more ounces of oil. So we'll go down and say, um, I'm, again, this is not a recipe that I'm suggesting. Um, Let's say we're going to use shea butter. The butters are not good to use in liquid soap. They make them cloudy. Let's say jojoba oil. That's kind of an expensive oil, but we'll just put it in for, or macadamia nut oil, put this in. Okay, so three ounces, we'll say. I think that adds up to 16. That's eight plus eight is 16, yes. So now we're not going to, I mean, I, you can put your other ingredients. I don't suggest any other ingredients for liquid soap because you want it to be clear but I'm gonna click here for the results. So now it's telling, it's saying that you need this, it tells the oils that you're using and then how much to use the potassium hydroxide and the sodium hydroxide and how much water to use for that batch and then it shows your glycerin. Okay, so then that that is how you use it. Now let's say for example, you say, oh, you go back and you realize I don't have enough, um, I don't have any olive oil so we're going to go back and we're going to take out the olive oil and just say zero. So we'll add the, I don't know, we'll add a different oil, almond, sweet almond oil. We'll add sweet almond oil, five ounces. And now we've changed the recipe. We're going to click here to see the results. And now the, it's not much different from before, but it is the, the numbers are different. That's why it's very important to run every recipe that you get through the soap calculator because even slight changes make a difference in the clarity of the soap or how mild it is. So I hope you understand this. I, I hope that helps. Um, this What's great, like I said, with this recipe is it, it also shows you how much for cream soap, if you wanna do cream soap, and it automatically will, will adjust these numbers uh, I would clear this out before, if you were going to do a different recipe, I would clear it out so that you could get the right numbers. So anyway, I hope that helps. Uh, God bless and take care.